What's up guys, I'm Jehovah, and this is Doom. I was lucky enough to get into the Doom closed beta. Now the good thing about this beta, the alpha was a thing, uh, but I don't think you could share anything. The beta, however, they encourage, share everything you want, stream it, upload it, fucking email it to your grandma, whatever you want. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I'm actually recording this right now as the servers are still offline, but as you're watch, by the time you watch this, the servers will have been online and I probably have already played a lot. Um, so keep that in mind. But I just wanted to make this quick video because uh, playing around a little bit, I realized there's some stuff that I can actually do already before the servers go online here in about another hour and 15 minutes. Um, I've got some time to play around. So first of all, there's loadouts, which I thought was interesting. Um, there's default loadouts, assault, sniper, and ambusher. And uh, so what I saw from this, I've seen some gameplay, and uh, the, the super shotgun looks fucking redonkulous, first of all. Um, the sniper rifle, I didn't see too much gameplay, and it looked almost like a two-shot to me, unless, I, you know, who knows. Um, this, the plasma rifle looked cool, those little balls of energy. I actually don't remember seeing very much heavy assault rifle gameplay at all. Um, and the rocket launcher is pretty, um, straightforward. And it looks like at level two, you unlock two custom loadouts, which is cool. And th this could all change too, because like I said, the servers aren't even up yet. So I'm assuming there's going to be an update, um, and that could change a lot of things in the game, you know, like once, once the servers go online, I'm assuming there'll probably be an update and all this shit could change. But just kind of wanted to make this video uh, because there's also customization and I didn't expect that at all and I think it's really cool. So I've already, how do I, oh yeah, right click and you can drag this guy around. Uh, now I, I know that a lot of people were like immediately hating and be like, oh dude, it's fucking Halo, all this is Halo. And uh, I mean, if, if you're being honest, like yeah, the armor style is obviously, um, you know, it, it's comparable, <laughs> you could say, say Halo, but... Uh, more than anything, I hate when people are like, dude, this game looks like a mixture between Halo and fucking Turok. And like, I, that was just an example, but people compare games all the time. And I fucking hate that more than anything, because nine times out of 10, they're like way off and don't know what they're even talking about. Anyways, uh, so you can go through, uh, armor. There's different armor sets. Obviously there's only a couple here now, but this is the beta. So who knows? I think what, there's like a month left. Uh, before this game is full release, so base armor, torso, individual legs and arms and shit, very cool. And then you can go through and mess with primary colors. Now one thing, now once again, this is the beta, um, but there's also metallics, uh, matte, and then glossy. But there's not very many colors, so I'm hoping that maybe there'll be more colors when it releases, or maybe ways of unlocking new colors. But then secondary colors, and then like the light color is like uh, there's like lights in your helmet. And I guess, oh, I guess there's a little light right here. Uh, but then there's patterns, which I thought was pretty cool. And these are the only ones available on everything right now. But once again, it's the beta, full release is a while out. So I like putting Fracture on. Oh shit, I didn't even notice camo and symbol, but I put Fracture on because it just kind of makes it look a little, little toe up from the flow up. And I just went with a red design. It makes me look, you know, I, I put a little, where's it? Uh, details, here it is. You can put dirt and scratches. So I made it like 100% worn, obviously, and 39% dirt. And I think it looks pretty cool because you don't really want like a bright character, I guess, you know, I, I would assume. Um, you know, it might, depending on, there's, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually even like seen in game because it's team deathmatch. And the other game type is like a rotating hill type thing. So I don't know if like your armor is actually what it is in game. But anyways, I thought that looked pretty cool. Uh, so I made that. And then I noticed also, uh, first of all, I got to show you guys this. This is redonkulous. Look at this shit. Motherfucking Carlton dance. Look at that shit. That's awesome. So there's taunts. I don't know if you can use these in game or just like after game or whatever. Uh, but the, the, I thought these were pretty cool. And I'm sure there'll be like unlockables and other stuff too. Um, but the Carlton dance, that just, that made me lol. I like that a lot. Um, but like the, the one thing I wasn't really expecting was, was weapon camos. Uh, and so I thought this was pretty cool. And I think I might play around and kind of give myself cool little, I don't, I don't know. I might just, like I thought I was playing around with it. And let's see, what so zone one and zone two, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, but I thought I might just like make all my guns <laughs> fucking pink because you can. And then I thought this was cool. You can, you can adjust 
the weathering on the weapon too, which is also pretty damn cool. So I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna make a bunch of pink guns just to be like that ridiculous guy. What a, yellow looks, yellow looks pretty crazy. That'd be cool if you could make it look like gold. I wonder if that, uh, that doesn't really look gold. That's cool though. That is cool, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go and just give myself a bunch of pink weapons for right now. Because why the F not, you know? Let's make that pristine. It's just gonna make it brighter and dumb, more dumb looking. So let's do that. Accent color. Look at like, it's honestly pretty in depth. In depth. And like I said, I just wasn't expecting that at all. So I thought it was pretty cool. Look how dirty you can make things. That's awesome. The scratches. So you can make it look like super war, war torn where there's only just a little bit of paint left. And uh, yeah, that that's that's pretty awesome. Color two. Okay, so the zones are just the different parts of the weapon. So look, we're just gonna make it bright ass pink. And I think I'm gonna do that to all my weapons uh, because it'll look funny. And I I think the people playing, at least at first, they're not gonna like take the time to go through and edit their their weapon colors. And so they'll see me like run by with a pink gun, and they'll be like what the fuck was that you know what i mean and that's what it's all about it's just like making people take a second you know take a second look and be really confused maybe we should do that purple yeah that that looks nice right there uh details we don't want to make it filthy or anything it's actually really cool though like i, said, I bet there is like a combination of yellow and the filthy uh setting that we can make almost a gold maybe it'll look different in game but yeah i'm just gonna make all my let's just do this real quick color pink i'm gonna make all my guns pink because that's what kind of a man i am you know what i mean and i'm you know i'm okay with that i'm comfortable with my sexuality and my pink guns are gonna kill people just as well as the other guns and we'll leave that purple because that looks nice um do that there's our rocket launcher and the super shotgun it almost pains me to do this because this weapon is super sexy as is i just like really like the style of it and the wood grain in it and everything is pretty cool but we're gonna go ahead and make that pink um so anyways like i said as i'm playing as i'm uh recording this video right now there's not even servers up yet but what the hell i clicked the wrong one but um i plan on as you're watching this later today there should be some gameplay up, hopefully, if I can get anything decent enough to show you guys. But I'm really excited about this game, and uh, I'm excited to show you guys um, what I can do, or lack thereof. What I don't see an accent color on this at all, but I guess we'll leave it at that. Um, see, this is one that I think you can make really cool if it was filthy with some other different variations. And then the Vortex Rifle. See, I was kind of already playing with this one. Um, pattern, let's take the pattern off. Color, pink, boom, doom, 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 exactly, doom. And uh, I have a little bit of backstory and my history with doom and all that stuff, but I'm gonna try to save that for the gameplay video, hopefully, and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, really excited about this game. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, I hope. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. So I was pretty surprised by the fact that there were a loadouts, and I, I you know, some people might be kind of upset about that because that's not like a traditional like Doom, Quake, uh, you know, fast-paced shooter thing. Um, but I don't know. I don't mind it so much yet. I don't think. Um, and yeah, just surprised by the fact that there was customization for players and customization for weapons. So let me know if you guys are excited about this game and uh, look forward to hopefully some gameplay later on today. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Haste. Demon rune I like that the power-ups drop. Allied Revenant. Dude, nice oh, demon God. pickup. Oh, you got... Oh. Ah! 